Hey guys, today's a little bit of a different video. So I do want to talk about why I don't open sealed product, but it's kind of, you know, ironic that, you know, I'm going to talk about why I don't open sealed product while opening some. Now, I did have the intention of buying these and opening them for just fun, which is, I guess, a different thing that I'm going to talk about today. Um, obviously, this whole channel is about investing, so, you know, you keep sealed product and um, just hold on to it. But I'm going to open some stuff today. I'm opening three of these um, more Pico V Union boxes. Um, honestly, I really like the playmat, which is why I bought these boxes and I got them for a pretty good deal. Um, but I'm just going to have some fun and open the packs and kind of talk about why I don't open sealed product. So I'm going to get these boxes open and I'll just talk to you guys um, while I open them. Um, so the reason why I don't open sealed product and I used to a lot and I got to tell you guys like back then when I first started, you know, getting into Pokemon, which is a long time ago, um, you know, Valley was never a thing. Obviously it's changed as it gotten older and all that stuff, but, um, I just always liked opening up packs for fun and all that stuff and collecting. Um, obviously things have changed from, uh, then, uh, but you know, I do still like, uh, opening stuff for fun once in a while. Uh, when you open stuff, don't expect to get your money back or even make money. I mean, it's nice when you do, but um, yeah, but just open for fun. Uh, that's what I'm doing here today. Uh, the reason why I don't open that much stuff anymore is because I've opened literally thousands of dollars of product. And yes, I did open it with intentions of hope, hopefully to like cut even and just have fun opening stuff and be able to keep some cards I like. But I ended up losing a lot of money and that's why you don't do what I did. Um, uh, in the past year, I would like to say I probably opened like close to around a thousand dollars of product um, And honestly, I don't have really as much fun opening it as uh, anymore um, Like before I used to really like get excited opening stuff But now that I guess have so much product and stuff. I kind of got numb to it uh, But we're gonna have some fun today um, So these boxes uh, I knew I wasn't going to keep long term because they're just so bulky um, this is messy, but at least I have a lot of these play mats. Um, I'm using it as like a, as you can see, like a mouse pad. Um, but uh, I have a lot of leftovers. Um, so that's actually kind of cool that I have all those play mats because I actually really like that play mat. Um, so I have extras. So okay, one more box to open, and we'll do this pack opening. So there's five packs in each of these boxes. Um, and uh, yeah, honestly, like. I know this is probably kind of loud, so I probably should have opened this off camera, but I mean, the video's already started, so can't really go back, but, um, yeah, so these boxes are honestly really nice, but they're just really bulky, so I would actually like to buy more, just to have the play mask, because I'm telling you, I, I just like the play mask, to be honest, but, um, yeah, the amount of packs you get in them is pretty nice for the price, because I got these around $20, and there's five packs, and just this really nice play mat, so, have all three of these and definitely gonna put these in my closet and just you know when this one gets dirty i'll just replace it so last box here and we'll get to the opening now when this set came out uh, i didn't open that much i opened actually a v star universe booster box and i pulled the giratina i did sell it because i don't really care for the art of that one i don't really like it that much and you know if i did want it i could just buy it later because it was super highly priced at the time so let's start with the first pack. Um, I'm not one of those people that do pack tricks. And uh, I used to do it back then when I, <laughs> I guess when I didn't have like a lot, of, oh, I, would, I didn't open a lot of stuff when I was younger, but I kind of stopped doing that because it's just a waste. Like just go straight to the hit. Um, yeah, because it just wastes a lot of time to be honest, just waiting for, or just, you know, doing the pack trick and stuff. Uh, I know card openings aren't that popular anymore, um, but yeah, I'm just having fun. See what we can get? Turtwig. This is a nice card. I do like these, like, what are these? Trainer Gallery? Uh, yeah. Or this one's called Galarian Gallery, but I do like those cards. Like, I do like these, and I I have a few cards on display, but, um, yeah. If a card is expensive, I'd usually do sell it because I think it'll decrease in value over time for most cards. Anyways, um, and I'll just, if I did want it, I'd just buy it later. That's just my thinking. Um, but for some cards, I do just keep uh, for myself because I do like it. Um, so, not everything's about money. But for some things, like, I, I like okay, for like V-cards and stuff, I usually just sell these in bulk because I have no use for them. There's not much collectability, and I don't play the game or whatever, so, um, yeah. But for these bulk cards, honestly, I used to sell them um, to a card shop, like, a few times. Um, but I figured that it was actually cheaper to just um, not sell them, and just less of a hassle because I sold probably, like, I don't know, a thousand or something of these. I got, like, ten dollars for them, and... Um, 
at that point, I know it's kind of a waste. I guess, uh, uh, like, I guess I could give it to people, or I could donate them, which I might do, but honestly, I just started throwing away the bolt cards. I know that's probably, a, a lot of people are going to hate that, um, but it's honestly just a lot easier, because, um, it just, I, I, you get nothing for bulk, um, but I could just give them away to, like, um, one of those, uh, donation centers, which I, I probably will do, to be honest, after this video, I probably will keep these, um, to give to somebody, um, this ditto's cool, but yeah, this set is definitely gonna do good in the long run, but I think Elite Trainer Boxes would probably be the way to go, um, to be able to, um, you know, hold them long term, uh, these collection boxes are just, well, for one, they're cheap, and also, uh, they're just gonna, well, I mean, they're just too bulky to actually, like, invest into, but, uh, some boxes I do like to just keep long-term because I just like how they look. Like, this box is pretty cool with the playmat and stuff, which is why I did buy them, uh, because I just really like the playmat. Um, no real cool hits. Oh, this one. I don't think I've ever pulled this card. Um, this card's really nice. Um, but so far, no big hits, but it's all good. I'm not expecting to make money or anything, um, but we get a good hit. It's cool. If I don't, then it's also okay, because I bought these with the intention of just opening them for fun. Uh, but I don't really do it that much anymore, like I said, because I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. Okay, our first kind of decent hit, even though it's not really that great. I used to sort out a lot of my cards um, by, like, I used to, back then, I used to, set, I used to like, sort everything by set and stuff, and it was just kind of cool to be able to organize everything. I had fun doing it. Um, ooh, this is a really nice card. Like, cards like these, I don't know how much it's worth. I don't really care. Like, cards like this, I honestly would probably just keep just because I really like the art. Um, so, I'll definitely sleeve that after this video. Um, yeah, it's like, I have a certain, like, I guess, degree where I will sell the card if it's super valuable. But if it's, like, $10, $20, I, I'd honestly, I just keep it because um, it's just more valuable to me to just display it and have it in my collection than to just, you know, sell it for a small amount of money. Um, so, yeah. All right, what do we have? Like five packs. Okay, this channel is not going to be an a, a, a opening channel. This is just a one-off thing that I decided to do um, because I decided to be cool. Because I was going to open these anyways off camera, so I decided just to make a small video out of it. Um, so hope you guys kind of enjoyed this small opening here. Um, as you can see, I'm like I have four more packs, barely hit anything. I mean, this is a really cool card right here that I got. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys that close, but really cool card. Um, but as you can see, over the long run, if you're trying to make money, trying to open this stuff, don't even bother. Like, at that point, just don't open. Um, it's really not worth it most of the time. Oh, <gasps> okay. <laughs> I've never pulled this card. Um, this one, I don't know how much it's worth, but, um, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that's kind of crazy. And we also got a Stoutland, but that's crazy. I've never pulled one of those expensive cards. I hit my, like, camera setup here. Okay, so I guess that's a good ending. If that's all we get, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this card. Uh, I pulled the Giratina in the V-Star universe, but um, wow. Is the centering good? Um, I don't know. I don't grade cards or stuff, so I, I honestly don't really care. But that's a cool card. Like, a card like that, honestly, like, it's kind of cool. But I actually like the art of the, the Zora. What is this called card? The Zara Aura. I actually like the art of this one better than that one. So in that case, I would usually sell this card. Like, I probably will sell this. I don't know how much it is. If it's like 30, 40 bucks, I'll put it on eBay. Or, um, I don't know. Because I don't. this art isn't that nice to me. Like, it's kind of cool. But not enough for me to want to keep it. Um, but yeah. Okay. Alright. We're getting to the last two packs here. So... Overall, I'm pretty happy because I do. I got a card that I actually am going to keep and display, and I got a card that I could probably sell to try to get a little bit of my money back. So, overall, I think this was a successful opening. Um, okay. Cool little trainer gallery here. Um, last pack. Can we get something? I don't know, but I'm already satisfied. Uh, so, here we go. Last pack. Do we have anything? Nope, just a hollow. And honestly, hollows, eh, they don't even count as a hit anymore. Okay, so overall, very successful. We got some really cool cards. We got this one, which I'll probably end up selling, to be honest. And this one, I'm definitely going to display um, with the other cards that I have on display.
So thanks you guys for watching. I know this was a little bit of a different video. I know this is an investment channel, but um, I just want to have some fun opening stuff. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.